Let's go into our starting lineups for this game. Injuries have taken their toll on the Buckeyes, have certainly not imperiled this season. We'll see rookie Harris in that point guard spot without Madison Green, who is out for the season, and Jason Sheldon continues to be week for week. And then a familiar group for the Wolverines, also an unfamiliar point guard, is Leah Brown, who's embraced that role this year. Neither Michigan nor Ohio State have a true point guard in that position right now, yet Leah Brown and Ricky Harris have both done a great job, respectively, running the offense for their teams. Ohio say 14 and 0 the number three team in the country looking for their best start ever to tie that best start ever at 15 and 0 Cavelli Center the site of this matchup today not the shot this will be familiar if you're a fan of Ohio State wrestling volleyball fencing gymnastics but an intimate arena that is sold out here tonight as we get underway in Columbus. And it's loud and it's rocking and it's a happy New Year's Eve. Hey, if you've ever been to a volleyball game in here, you know this place can get loud and get into it. Mid to lash it. Koba can't finish off the spin move. Michigan, the team with the best scoring defense in the Big Ten this season. Going up against one of the best offenses in the country, but expect the Wolverines on offense to go into the post. They've had a lot of success historically in that matchup as Brown start things off going into the paint. Brown's had to figure out when to keep it for herself and when to pass. And with Kaiser too strong, Williams there for the offensive board and with Grace gets the putback. Michigan has always had an advantage rebounding plus 11 right now in the Big Ten with rebounding margin second in the league. Ohio State has to box out. Ohio State in its half-court offense, usually an up-and-down team, but putting up nearly 90 points per game this season. Good inside-outside, but doesn't result in the three right there for Harris. On the run, it is Brown, but McMahon knocks that away. Position and timing perfect. Nick Mann's intelligence in the game has been impressive as a freshman. She's come in and has already adjusted to the fast pace and has made fantastic decisions, especially on the defensive end. Times it perfectly to block the shot without fouling. Three straight Big Ten Freshman of the Week recognitions. Hard enough to get one in this conference, and she's done it three straight. The step back by Mike Sell, looking to stay hot. She erased a cold streak. That happened two games ago. She's eight for her last 17 from three, but misses her first look. Taylor Mikesell has the greenest green light in the state of Ohio. She led the nation three-point shooting throughout her career. She's allowed to let it fly anytime she wants. Second year at Ohio State, the lob inside to Williams, and again, patient of a cold spell herself had been two of 18 the four games prior. And the ball looks like it actually went out on Layla Filia. They're going to get the ball back to Michigan. Kaiser gets it up ahead, and now it's one on one. Filia right into Miku Lashakova, fearless into the big. Ohio State has a ton of length until they got here in person. I didn't realize how long Cody McMahon was in person, and that just makes it so disruptive as a defensive squad. Kaiser powering her way, no good on the reversal. Mikula Shakova cleans up the boards. Harris, no one's stopping the ball. Both teams continuing to be cold here. Ohio State over five from the field. Kaiser up ahead and easy lay in. And ultimately has forced Ohio State to get a little deflated defensively. Well, Michigan eight points in the paint with eight rebounds as well. And the first bucket for Ohio State falls one of six as a team. And that's how the Buckeyes also look to score. McMahon three on two. Running on the shot clock for the Wolverines. Both teams struggling to shoot right now. Michigan 4 of 13 to start as they jumped out to an 8-0 lead. On that shot, there's zero contact on Filia. And this is a Michigan team that shoots as a team. Nearly 80% from the free throw line, so these trips make a difference. Ohio State has to take advantage when Michigan does make a mistake. The Wolverines had an unforced error a couple of possessions ago, but Ohio State hasn't been able to capitalize off of any Michigan mistakes. 
Michigan making things difficult in the half-court offense for Ohio State. They're stuck on two of ten shooting from the floor, of course, without last year's leading score. And J.C. Sheldon continues to be week to week with lower leg injury. She's on a has a boot with crutches, but that's going to help Cody McMahon and one. Cody McMahon has fantastic length. At six feet tall, she's got a great wingspan, but just stretches almost like Superman, getting to the basket and the finish, absorbing the contact with the foul, but still finishing towards the rim to get the bucket to go. Including those three consecutive Big Ten Freshmen of the Week awards is because of the hard work she puts in, especially at practice. I like how McMahon is so determined to get to the basket. Ohio State's offense has been forced outside of the three-point line because of Michigan, but she's getting paint touches. Felia goes all the way into the paint. A difficult shot, but she tried to go coast to coast. Michigan is still holding teams to 57 points a game. It's a fantastic defensive squad that does a lot personnel-wise scout-based whenever they're playing against teams from a defensive perspective. Williams turns it over looking for the high low. McMahon finds a seam, sidesteps Kaiser. Beautiful. Mature as well to have the understanding that Kaiser's going to try to step up and take a charge, yet McMahon avoids the contact. High level stuff to be able to do that as a freshman. Fury comes away with the loose ball. Mikulashikova is going to feed Shoemate, who's trying to score. Meanwhile, Kaiser is still down. Four Wolverines back. The offensive rebounds continue. And finally, play is stopped, and Kaiser still has not moved on the floor. And she went down when Ohio State swarmed her, trying to trap. In your year last year, and, and made a great impact on a team that went to the Elite Eight, but it's her leadership. One of the best scorers in the Big Ten, as we talked about. But she's the quarterback of this defense as well, so we'll see how Michigan can adapt without her presence. Camp Schrader launches a three, too strong. Fight for the rebound. Williams comes down hard. Harris is in a loft this up, and that was close. Amazing to see. I know it's easy to think a little farther ahead about them potentially facing off in the championship <laughs> game, but I'm Can you imagine? I mean, whew. Yeah, as if, cool. as if the regular season game was not intense enough. We're seeing it here in person in Columbus as Harris takes a shot and trying to set a screen for Mike Sell. Harris open for three. She misfires in Ohio State, shooting under 25%. Michigan, even lower than that. Underneath the seal by Williams, and she lays it in. Just a simple foul, not even on a scoring play, but you can tell how much she loves the game. Mike Sell lets it go, and that won't fall. I don't know if these rims are tight. No one can make a shot right now. Am Trader along the baseline is fouled by Schumann. Quite a lot of pain when she first went down, but great to see her back out and hopefully nothing too serious. And then Caitlin Clark leads 12th ranked Iowa against Illinois. Coverage begins tomorrow at 1 Eastern. And that arena is expected to have a pretty good crowd tomorrow as well. And Iowa always does Iowa things. With Caitlin Clark, it's always a show. Monica Sonano coming off of scoring her 2,000th point of her career. Came on a free throw against Purdue. Mike Sell being guarded by Nolan, five seconds on the shot clock, and Nolan too physical there. That's something that Mike Sell has been adapting in her game as well as that shoot because she's an elite three-point shooter, 40% on the season. Also an elite free throw shooter, 87% for the season. She dials up the full court press again, new into the game for the Buckeyes. Ebony Walker, just the seventh player we've seen time so far in this first half. And McMahon and her length force the turnover, and she gets to Michigan took too long trying to break the press, and if you take more than five seconds trying to break this press, Ohio State's like a, a school of sharks. They're just going to feed on whoever's in the backcourt. 12 turnovers for the Wolverines, as that's rejected Brown, though. But the steal, I mean, McMahon has some long arms. Again, you see her on a person, her length is unbelievable. And it's what's made her such a staunch defender. But McMahon was still moving on that play there. That's just why the block was called. Taylor Theory has two personals, and McMahon has two. And Ohio State in the bonus for the rest of the half. 
Mike, Mike, uh, Mike Sell, excuse me, can't get the floater to go. Mike Sell was one for eight in the first half last game. That was like against South Florida where she was two of 13, one for seven from three-point range. She's a former five-star recruit who's now that established starter, one of those players that was on the periphery or from in the last moment. Michigan shooting 25% in this first half, and Brown, who McMahon has too. But Fury, especially this season, leading the nation in field goal percentage, having her go to the bench with five whole minutes left is tough for a short handed team. Well, especially because Fury brings so much. Evan Bristow checks in, along with Ebony Walker, and taken by Brown. Iowa State does a good job getting back. And Williams goes right to the hoop. And Excel patient through the pick and roll. Layla Felia getting the assignment on her, something she relishes and takes pride in. And Kaiser takes another charge. Repeat as Big Ten champions. Felia into the lane, collapsed upon by multiple white jerseys. The stop by Kevin Bristow. She says no. Williams once again has the positioning down low, but my goodness, that wasn't even close. The ball didn't even get to see the light of day. Bristow at the free throw line. And this is a low scoring game for both Ohio State and Michigan. I mean, Ohio State averages almost 90 a game, Michigan almost 78. And right now, both are on track to not reach those numbers. Just outside the range of Felia, and yet another forced turnover. That's 13 in this first half. And Harris, the first three today. They had been 0 for 13 combined. And it just takes one. Michigan was in a scramble situation, and Ohio State found the open player for three. Nolan trying to answer right back and does. Maddie Nolan is a shooter. That is what it says on the scouting report. Ohio State has to know where she is at all times. Ricky Harris finds Mike Sell back to back. No one has been able to make a shot. Now all of a sudden everyone has found a rhythm from beyond the arc. Three straight threes for both these teams. Brown is in trouble and she's going to have to burn a timeout. Two for two at the free throw line. One for six overall. And maybe this is where she gets things going. A foul away from the ball. You can feel the intensity and the emotion of this game right now just by sitting here and be committed to not fouling when it gets chippy and not losing their cool. Ohio State's not giving Mike Sell enough space when she comes off those fade screens at the top. Look at Mike Sell putting it back up with Ophelia, who stayed with her every step of the way. Layla Ophelia's done. Brown stops on a dime, looking for the cutting. Kaiser makes it to her. And Ohio State has fouled them. There's multiple players on the bench, Rebecca Mikola Shakova being one of them. When the Wolverines host the Lady Lions, then Thursday, the Buckeyes are on the floor in Minneapolis to take on the Gophers. There's no plus like home. Download the Big Ten Plus app and subscribe now. We are 100% into Big Ten play the next nine weeks. The kickoff this week as Bristow barrels her way to the rim. Ohio State's finally scoring in a variety of ways, whether it be from the three-point shot or driving to the basket, but paint touches lead to even more open opportunities from beyond the arc. Shoemate, uh, Shoemate almost Ooh. got a piece of it and finishing on the other side. Good ball movement for Ohio State. Harris, a long three, and here comes three, three, three free throws. And she felt like... She wants to bring energy and defense. When you're not playing early on, it's frustrating. But if you just stay to the process, you never know what can happen. The value that she brings to the floor and how much she values basketball. Now 10 on the clock. Felia slowed down, gets it out to Camp Schrader. She can't get the three to go. And back the other way. Got a second different shot in game clock. Mike Sell trying to find any kind of breathing room. Shoemate with the pump fake. And the buzzer. And that lights up this crowd. 30 to 27 is the Ohio State lead at the half. But both teams need to clean it up in this half if they want to be successful and find different ways to get established in an offensive rhythm. 15 first half turnovers for Michigan and make that 16. 
Michigan averages 16 turnovers a game, and already they've reached that within the first half and the first 12 seconds of this quarter. Most of the starters not shooting well as Harris starts it off with a three-point play, a hard shot she puts through. Ricky Harris getting into the paint and making things happen. She does a good job coming back. Oh, a little stare down. Harris staying so strong, getting into the rim. And that's what Ohio State needs to continue doing because they haven't had a ton of open looks from three, but if they can get to the paint and force Michigan's defense to collapse, they can get some open looks. And that was smart by Harris, too, going right at Leah Brown, who picked up her third. Williams! Ohio State dealt with some foul trouble in the first half. Quick trigger from Mikulashikova, and who's right there? But Taylor Fury, untouched. Lucky it wasn't back-to-back three-point plays for the Wolverines. Box out accordingly. But bringing it on the offensive end, too. Nolan herself trying to get going, and what a shot to try and make that happen off glass. Good decision by Nolan. McMahon on the run, and she trounced. Try to figure out how she's going to get around the defense without committing a charge. But right there, she just took a little bit of an extra step. Another steal. That's turnover number 17. McMahon, the oh, spin. God. The finish not there, though. <laughs> but she just split a double team and threw midair. Everything but the finish on that play. Feely, a well-contested three, and an early one, too. Williams to Kaiser, and two free throws coming up to save that possession. She has fantastic awareness of where the defense is and makes her moves accordingly. Confidence in how that all works together. That's 2-1 Felia, who's gotten the important assignment today of guarding Mike Zell. The Ohio native, by the way, around <laughs> Taylor Mikesell, 10 points. Time for a team high. Nikola Shakova brings down the board. They made that difficult for Felia. Mikesell goes the other way, gets some space. The patience by Fury. And my Ohio geography needs improvement. That would be my New Year's resolution. <laughs> Lashikova with three, Fury with three, Brown with three. Playing maybe a little bit cautious, at least in this third quarter. Missed free throw for Williams. Ohio State had just nine points after the first quarter. Both teams responding well in the second. Walker gets the roll on a powerful move to the rim. State is able to score in the paint right now because they're making strong moves to the basket and Michigan does not want to get to any more foul trouble. Nolan was all by herself, decides against the three, but interesting there to see Megan. It was the bigs, Kaiser and Evans back there to try and break the press. As Kaiser fouled by Walker. Nebraska game, she had been two of 18 in the last four games from three-point range. I spoke to Michigan assistant coach Harry Rafferty before this game, and he says, you know, Maddie and I always say, water always finds its level, and that's just the concept we've been trying to focus on. Just keep on shooting. And last year, she would sometimes pull back as Mike Sell. She's a long two, falling away, and she's on fire here in the third. Degree of difficulty high because her body was going one way, but Mike Sell still squared her shoulders to the basket. Leah Brown, a freight train stopped as she attacks. Speaking of freight train, that's Cody McMahon. Information and make that the McNuggets for this week because that's some good stuff right there. So it just goes to show you the value. Mike Sell trying to get free against Nolan. Spinning away, Fury elevating and finishing with the finger roll. I mean, Fury practically placed that ball over the rim into the basket with how much she was able to elevate on the finger roll. Lelophilia will drive and kick to Nolan. Nolan is free, can't drain the two. Brown shooting two. Physical this game has been. Even with the referees really letting them play it out in a lot of spots. Gotta expect this to be a physical game. Theory. The two doesn't go. Difficult matchup for anybody, especially on the perimeter. Kaiser picking up her dribble. 
minute and a half to play here in the third. Felia, how did she get that? She had to work for that bucket. Felia able to create just enough separation to get that shot off. A desperation moment for the Wolverines. Her second personal sending Ricky Harris to the free throw line. Wolverines need to get a paint touch, get the ball back to Cameron Williams. That's when they were having success in the first half. He's only had two points here in the second half after 12 in the first. Nolan can't get the roll. A foul on the floor. McMahon had the positioning first, and Williams jumped over her. And look, it's so difficult as an official to make these calls in real time. You still want to as a defender, and maybe they're looking for, but there's no arm contact when the play eventually went up. So ultimately, you just got to. One player consistently scoring this entire game for the Wolverines. It's been the biggest impact this team's had. Fury. I think both of these teams, Megan, are amped up. I was talking to Leila Filia today and asking her about the level of their excitement before I could even ask about the potential of knocking off the number one team in the country. I mean, look, this is big from a recruiting perspective. You know, yeah. you, you're recruiting for both of these programs, which have had it, and you come to beat your rival. And they immediately turn it over. Brown takes a look at the clock, weaves her way through, leaves it to Nolan, and another buzzer beater to end a quarter. And we got a single digit game heading into the fourth. But this is their rival, and this is top three, and that makes a big difference. And this is only the fourth and third Big Ten game of the season for them, for the stakes to be that high. You know the competition's good. Michigan 2-0 in Big Ten play. Ohio State undefeated. And Michigan needed exactly that easy basket for Kaiser. Both teams shooting under 40% in this game. Ohio State, one of the best offenses in the country. Bristow slices in the lane. Bob inside to Brown. A quick outlet there to Nolan. She has a mismatch with Nikolashikova guarding her. Inside to Williams gets the position. That has been the key to success for Michigan. Get the ball inside to Cameron Williams. She's been able to put on a show. Down inside, Felia battling for it, leaving open Harris too strong. Side to Williams, who's been the hot hand in the paint. The double team comes. There's the adjustment that we've seen in the second half. Kaiser, one on one. She's going to get that to go. And still pulling out quality wins. Nikola Shikova trying to get it going. Put down by Theory. Here's another try for Mike Sell. Still not there. And Theory. She's going to need a little bit of help here from her teammates. And it helps when she can also steal the ball. There's another turnover for the Wolverines. The miss by Mike Sell, and right back to Michigan. Nolan, wide open for three. She drains it. Shoot or shoot. Maddie Nolan was hesitating in that third quarter to shoot the ball. Five seconds for the Buckeyes, and a foul just as Theory might have been losing it. This is the end of shot clock situation, and Brown just trying to make a play, but she reaches her hand in the cookie jar right in the line of vision of the official. So Brown will go to the bench. Her minutes limited today in this rivalry matchup because of foul trouble. Bristow looking for a seam into the teeth of the pin. And finishes. Leah Brown has been the glue holding this Michigan team together for the comeback, so Ohio State has to take advantage like Bristow just did with her on the bench. Amelia almost loses it. Too slow of a pass. Bristow picks it off. Mike Sell will shoot two. Well, that's going to be the fourth personal on Layla Felia, another player who has four. See this disciplined team like Michigan, who has only one loss this season. Brown that hits the backboard and to Ohio State. That is what Ohio State does. McMahon kicks it out. A wide open Bristow. She can't make the Wolverines pay, but Harris snipes it. Back to Camp Schrader. More chaos by the Wolverines, but they have a two on one, and Kaiser puts it away. 
Thomas puts it on the floor. A difficult shot. Automatically going into defensive mode, and she's created quite a few turnovers as a result. Big Ten men's basketball presented by Jeep tomorrow only on Big Ten Network and the Fox Sports app. Kaiser has the mismatch. Goes right into Harris, who draws the foul. Ricky Harris. McMahon. On that angle, Brown's falling down before the contact is made. That's not a charge. Big Ten freshman of the week, Cody McMahon, fouling out Camp Trader off target. And a rebound to Harris, who fights for it and draws the foul. And look, these are fouls that are happening, like you mentioned, because she's just trying to play hard. And no coach is going to be mad at a player what your foul count is because it impacts if you're going to go to the bench and foul out. Harris has struggled for the free throw line, but she is able to collect her own miss. A fresh offense here for the Buckeyes. In the paint, Bristow right there, cannot finish. Neither can Mike so. will be staying Ohio State basketball. And Mikulashikova in the game and a foul. Leah Brown is done as well. That's just trying to get through a screen and there's that physicality that comes with it. But based off of how physical this game has been, that to me is not, is not a foul that gets called right now. Leah Brown, their primary point guard. Greta Camp Schrader, the transfer from Oregon State. Staying in the game. Without Brown out, Michigan has to find a way to handle this press. And Ophelia, who also has four personals, attacks right at Mikulashikova, chasing her own miss, but Fury grabs it. Ricky Harris pushing Mikulashikova. Clean look, and there it is. Her first bucket today at a huge time. It's a 12-point Buckeye lead. Press break and Felia, best rivalry in sports. And those are players who care deeply about this game, the game of basketball. And of course, these players are going to show some emotion. And Mike Sell get it off in time. Some nice dribbling before it eventually gets away from her. Cam Schrader gets it over with 23 seconds left, but she is hounded. Understanding time and score in thousands. As a player in your head, that Michigan is top 20 in the nation as a team in free throw percentage. Bristow and Harris cleanly get it over. Fury behind the back loses it. Good stand up defense there by Kaiser. Michigan needs to score fast. It's a nine point game. Wolverines hope still in reach. Felia want the ball in Mike Sell's hands. She's an 87% free throw shooter. She's led Ohio State's press, and she's also been able to score at opportune time. For the Wolverines, she's competed in six games this season. Two starters fouled out for the Wolverines. It's aggressive half-court defense by the Buckeyes, not allowing them to get a good shot off. Tremendous defense by Ohio State. And Mike Sell slowing it down. The number three team in the country about to knock off number 14. That travel there for Fearing. Kaiser. One last look at a three. And Ohio State has tied the best start ever at 15-0. That matches the 15.